Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia and the negative syndrome. Schizophrenia and the negative, but before we get to this, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I have conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and of course our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I know I get perceived as a spring chicken all the time, but I'm not. I've been around a few preludes in my many years. And I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, has got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like, uh, you know, a good concert. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled you on like my concerts? Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. You like them? Where me and the bird. That's right, that's right. We talk Oh, the old scriptures in play. This is my new book. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. You like concerts? That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed Some with people, schizophrenia uh, for a score five and one. I always go to concerts. Where are you going to the concert? <laughs> okay. Thank you for joining right, me I'll on see you at the channel. concert. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. There are five categories of negative syndromes. Of course, this schizophrenia is divided into positive, the positive syndrome and the negative syndrome and they each have different constituents, and the negative syndrome includes five different categories, and it's avolition, which is a decrease in goal-directed behavior, asocial, anhedonia, no pleasure, elogia, decreased quantity of speech, and a blunted affect, which is akin to just feeling flat and depressed, kind of. And uh, those five together make up this negative syndrome. I know, I know, I know. It's very, very fun, and it's very luxurious as well to uh, experience all those as we do with schizophrenia. I know we always, you and I, we feel flat, right? Flat, that's blunted affect. That's the uh, negative syndrome. But here's a, uh, here's a little caveat to it all. They've uh, discovered that abolition... If you improve abolition, you improve all other categories. And abolition is engaging in goal-directed behavior. So if you increase your focus on goal-directed behavior, the other four improve as well. Ain't that a trick? Ain't that a trick? That's why I write an agenda for my day every day with goals. And I, uh, I uh, make sure I uh, engage in goal-directed goal behavior every single day. It's the, uh, the one ca <clears throat> category that helps the other four. I'm getting all uh, choked up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, improving abolition improves the other four categories as well. And that's a ditty on the negative syndrome. And uh, concerts. Yeah, people are left and right. I'm going to the concert. All right, go to the concert. I'll see you at the concert. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll see you next time.